Hi friends, and welcome to the Harbor Breeze Home Podcast, where we talk about home and the life lessons learned there. I'm Rita Joy, your host, and I'm so excited to be back. As you may or may not know, the main part of my online business is writing on the blog Harbor Breeze Home. I've noticed in the past that some of my blog friends do a special daily series on a specific topic, and I just love it. I wake up in the morning with anticipation and just can't wait to get to their blog to read the next part. Sort of like watching a Netflix series one day at a time. I decided last month that I wanted to do a Christmas mini series and I've been working hard writing it, but I thought it would be fun too to read each post here on the podcast and record it for YouTube too. I found that some of you like to listen, some of you like to read, and some of you like to watch. So here I am doing all of it at the same time. <laughs> so today marks the start of a mini series called Holly Jolly Christmas, Christmas Secrets and the Seasons of Life. Each day there will be a new post, podcast, and video up for an unknown amount of days at this point. I'm still writing, but I have six posts finished, so it might turn into a seven day series, but we'll see how it goes. So let's get started with day one. At the time I'm writing this, my husband has been gone for nearly a week. He comes home today, yay. I decided to use this time home alone to hunker down and get some work done on my blog. If you're new here, you may not realize that I've been writing here at Harbor Breeze Home off and on for over 14 years. What started out as a little hobby of writing diary style posts about the journey of fixing up the old historical home we were living in at the time has now turned into a full-time job for me. Over a thousand posts live here on this site, including recipes, decorating, ideas, crafts, and stories. I still love my job so very much, and I'm also a little tired too. That's the truth of life that I'm learning lately. We can often experience two completely opposite emotions simultaneously, and that's okay and normal. I wanted desperately to work ahead so I'm not scrambling each day to put together content that may be helpful to you, and my thoughts went to the upcoming Christmas season. Every year for 14 years, I've tried to put together fun ideas and inspirations for Christmas for you, my readers, and my listeners and my watchers. Christmas is, after all, my very favorite season of all. But this year, it feels different. Not in a bad way, just different. I'm in a totally different season of life than I was the first time I wrote about Christmas. Instead of a house full of three busy boys and furiously crafting Christmas crafts to make money for Christmas gifts, it's now just the two of us, back where we started. Every year for the past 33 years, this year will be the 34th year, I've put my hands and feet to the work of creating a cozy Christmas home with memory-making traditions. But as I was laying in bed this morning pondering Christmas, I realized something that I'd never really thought of before. Here's the confession. I'm a Christmas minimalist. Not in the sense that I only like it a little bit or that I only like it in small doses. Not at all. I love everything about Christmas, but I don't have the patience to actually spend a lot of time on Christmas decorations or cooking or baking. And for 33 years, I've limited my Christmas decor to two plastic totes only. I'm convinced that that's what's kept me sane for all these years. As I get older, I find the idea of going shopping to get more things or the latest trendy things is less and less appealing to me. The truth is I already have things I love to use and systems that work for us. Why do I need to feel the need to reinvent the wheel every year? And if I tried to do all the Christmas baking I used to do even 10 years ago, our blood sugar levels wouldn't like it. <laughs> which gave me the idea of this mini series here called Christmas Through the Seasons of Life. I decided that this year, as I shared fun Christmas ideas, it would also be fun to go back and write down the things I've learned throughout the past three decades. Some of the lessons were learned from hilarious mishaps and others were learned from studying and learning tips and tricks from others. So stay tuned. Each day this week, there will be a new post up for you in hopes that it will help you as you too plan for a cozy Christmas in whatever stage of life you're in. 
As you read the posts that are included in this series, I'd like you to think in terms of your current season of life and what your desires and wishes for Christmas are. Ultimately, what your Christmas traditions look like in your home this year will be based on your choices. There's no right or wrong way. I caution against comparison and trying to do everything like others are. That can start to feel hectic and exhausting really quick. Instead, choose what sounds fun and doable for you and your family. And remember, at any given point, you can change your mind. Simplify if you start to feel overwhelmed or if you're an empty nester and bored, maybe you need to step it up and look for some new things that sound like fun that can become new traditions for you. I'll put all the posts below in one little list once they're all finished, but until then, I'm going to leave you with a few Christmas posts that you might enjoy reading. When the Christmas budget is tight, I've put together some gift ideas and budget tips for a fabulous season of celebration, even if the bank account is small. Two, I've created a printable Christmas planner to help you as you ponder all the details and make all the plans. You can have everything in one handy little spot. Three, from Christmas cookies to Christmas dinner side dishes, you can find a whole collection of Christmas recipes on Harbor Breeze Home. And if you're feeling crafty, I have some DIY Christmas decorations over there too. If you're one of those people who would rather listen than read, there's also another Christmas podcast you might enjoy. So that's a wrap for day one of this jolly, holly, holly jolly Christmas series. But before you go, there's something I'd love for you to do. In the show notes is the link to the blog post that is the transcript of this show. If you scroll to the bottom of that post, there's a comment section. I would be thrilled beyond words if you would hop on over to that post and say hi. I would so love for this to be more than just a one-way conversation. I would so love to meet you and hear some of your stories. But be sure to come back tomorrow. We're going to be telling some tales about Christmas trees. Until then, toodaloo!